Hello there, welcome to Karina's channel, your go-to place for all things health and wellness. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that button now so you won't miss our enlightening discussions. Today, we dive into the world of salt, a humble yet indispensable ingredient that graces our tables and flavors our meals. From its colorful history to its various types and intriguing facts, salt is far more fascinating than it appears. In today's video, we are going to answer some of the most frequently asked questions about salt. So stay tuned. Salt, a substance so common yet so vital, has been known to us since prehistoric times. This humble mineral has played a pivotal role in the rise and fall of empires, shaping our history more than we might realize. In ancient Rome, soldiers were sometimes paid in salt, giving rise to the word salary. In fact, the phrase worth his salt comes from this very practice. Salt was also a key player in trade, often used as a form of currency. The legendary Silk Road had a parallel salt road highlighting its value. In some African cultures, salt was so precious that it was kept under lock and key. Moving on to some crazy facts about salt. Did you know that there are over 14,000 uses for salt? Yes, you heard it right. From de-icing roads to making homemade Play-Doh, the versatility of salt is truly mind-boggling. And if you think all salt is created equal, think again. There are countless types of salt, each with unique properties and flavors. From the pink Himalayan salt known for its mineral content, to the exotic black lava salt from Hawaii, the world of salt is a diverse one. And here's the kicker. There's even a museum dedicated to salt in Austria, the Salzwelt in Holstadt, which is home to a salt mine that's been in operation for over 7,000 years. Who knew something so commonplace could have such an intriguing history and fascinating facts? But what really is salt? How is it created? Well, at its most basic, salt is a chemical compound known as sodium chloride. It's a result of the reaction between sodium, a highly reactive metal, and chlorine, a toxic gas. When these two elements come together, they form a stable and edible compound that we know as salt. Now, salt can be produced in a couple of ways. The most common method is through the evaporation of seawater, which leaves behind salt deposits. This is how sea salt is made. Another way is through mining of rock salt from underground deposits left by dried up ancient bodies of water. This is where we get table and kosher salt. Speaking of types, there are indeed many kinds of salt, each with its unique features. Take table salt for instance. It's highly refined with almost pure sodium chloride content. It's also usually iodized, providing a nutrient necessary for healthy thyroid function. Then we have sea salt, which is created through evaporation of seawater. It contains trace minerals like potassium, iron and zinc, giving it a complex flavor profile. Kosher salt, on the other hand, has a larger grain size and a flaky texture, making it perfect for tasks like seasoning meat or rimming cocktail glasses. It's also free of additives, which some people prefer. And let's not forget about Himalayan pink salt. Harvested from the Kera salt mine in Pakistan, it's known for its beautiful pink hue and mineral content. It's often used in cooking, as well as in spa treatments and lamps. However, not all salts are health heroes. While they can provide trace minerals, they're also high in sodium. Consuming too much sodium can lead to health issues like high blood pressure and heart disease. So it's important to use salt judiciously, no matter the type. So not all salts are created equal, and each type has its own unique characteristics and uses. Remember, whether you're seasoning your dinner or soaking in a salt bath, salt is so much more than just a kitchen staple. It's a fascinating compound with a rich history and a world of varieties to explore. Now let's delve into the health aspects of salt. Is it healthy? How much should we consume daily? Salt is a vital component in our daily diet. It's indispensable for several bodily functions, such as maintaining fluid balance, aiding nerve and muscle function, and regulating blood pressure. But like all good things, it should be consumed in moderation. The World Health Organization recommends a daily intake of less than 5 grams, roughly 1 teaspoon, for adults. Excessive salt consumption can lead to high blood pressure, which in turn increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. It's not just about how much salt you add to your food at the table, but also about being aware of the hidden salts in processed foods. Now, on to sodium. Sodium is a component of salt, and too much of it can cause the same health issues as excessive salt intake. The key, as always, is balance. Our bodies need sodium but not in large amounts. The recommended daily intake of sodium is less than 2 grams, which equates to about 1 teaspoon of table salt. But what about fake salt? 
Well, in a world where imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, even salt isn't safe. Fake salt, often made from industrial-grade sodium chloride, can be harmful if consumed. It lacks the trace minerals found in natural salts and may contain harmful substances. So, it's always a good idea to check the source of your salt and ensure it's food grade. In essence, salt is a two-sided coin. On one side, it's essential for our bodily functions and adds flavor to our food. On the other side, if consumed excessively, it can lead to health issues. The trick is to find that perfect balance, to consume just enough to maintain our health without putting it at risk. While salt is essential for our bodies, it's crucial to consume it in moderation. Before we wrap up, let's take a quick detour from our kitchen cabinets and venture into the wider world where salt plays an equally important role. Did you know that only a small percentage of the salt manufactured worldwide is actually used in food? Quite surprising, isn't it? The majority of salt or sodium chloride goes to a variety of other uses. These range from agriculture, where it's used as a supplement in animal feed, to water treatment facilities that use it to soften hard water. Salt is also a key player in the chemical industry, where it's used as a raw material in the production of chlorine and soda ash. These substances are then utilized in making products like glass, paper, detergents, textiles, and even pharmaceuticals. In colder climates, you'll find salt being used on roads and sidewalks for de-icing purposes, preventing accidents during the icy winter months. So, next time you sprinkle that salt on your fries, remember it's not just a flavor enhancer but a multitasking marvel that keeps our world running in more ways than one. Isn't it fascinating how one single substance can have such diverse applications? Truly, salt is much more than a simple condiment. It's a testament to the versatility of Mother Nature's creations. So, let's give a salty salute to this incredible mineral.